Hello, welcome to Chasing Diecast Cars. This is what I got in week 32 of 2020. So at my local supermarket that has stocked up on old or older 2017 Matchbox. I got a bunch of VWs. I'll never pass up a VW if it's uh, sold for an affordable price. So this is the 1990 Volkswagen Golf Country. So. Mattel did not do a good job at getting Matchbox into the stores the past years, so they're having a big stock of these old cases that they are now unloading on, uh, in different different stores here locally. So this is a very cool model. I think it's great that uh, Matchbox decided to do this one. It's got a variation of the stuff in the boot or trunk this one has the the box in there the toolbox and the chainsaw and then the variation has uh, another box or something on top of the chainsaw so kind of cool they do these variations then we got the Volkswagen Golf GTI and this uh, primer gray Got the red lip around the rims. So deco front and back. T Dog license plate. And then we got the Volkswagen Transporter cab. There's not been a lot of releases of this one. So uh, I'm kind of wondering when they are finally going to bring this back because uh, I don't have the first release, the blue one, light blue one that's uh, very hard to find here and there was a uh, color shifter version 2 and I think a toy fair version also but yeah cool model there's also a variation of this one, it's got some gear in the back, this one is a one with the empty back. Cool. Then another store uh, close to me is doing some uh, clearancing of some die cast. Well, other stuff too, but of course I'm interested in the die cast. This is a 60s Jeep 4x4. Only side deco on this one. It's got a very high up trailer hitch and a stump steering wheel. So, yeah. A little bit disappointing. That's probably why it didn't sell. But it's still a Jeep, so I don't mind. Then we get to the Hot Wheels. This was also in my uh, local, local supermarket, the same one that I got the uh, Matchbox from the um, Volkswagens. So they're selling. Hot Wheels at 2 euro and uh, yeah I want to get another one of, another example of the Volvo 850 estate so I'm kind of you know if it's not above 2 euro 2 euro I will buy Hot Wheels locally but more than that I'm out so I get them in Germany for one so one, one euro Something I did not notice before, the, um, the underside is uh, plastic of this casting and it being black kind of looks a bit strange. The white one, because it has a black plastic underside, it doesn't really look that much off with the, the white paint of the vehicle. But this one here, so maybe if they made it blue might have looked better, might have looked more accurate. And with the grey interior we can kind of see that the uh, driver's seat that is on the right hand side because this vehicle was featured in the British Touring Car Championship, so right hand drive in, um, in the UK. 
So uh, it's got a racing seat with a racing harness. The other seats are the normal style seats. Just the driver's seat has been changed out. Also you can notice here through the sunroof that the handbrake is on the left side in the center console that tells you that this is originally a left-hand drive car it's a Swedish car made in Belgium and then the cup holders are on the right my Honda it's the other on the side it's on the the other way around I mean because uh, Hondas are made for right-hand drive because Japan is right-hand drive so you have uh, the handbrake a little bit further away from you when you are driving a left-hand drive car like we are here on the continental Europe so yeah cool one no post in the back spare wheel in the back yeah love these my favorite Hot Wheels casting and uh, I've seen there's a nice red version coming up so uh, with the I think front and rear detail if I'm not mistaken so that's going to be cool love that they were <clears throat> the other uh, hypermarket that was clearing some die cast I found these two the rest of them actually are from that hypermarket so this is the 71 Datsun 510 wagon and this uh, satin and chrome series or whatever it's called so you got all the other cars on the back but I'm only interested in the, the wagon don't care for the others so you can see here at normal price these are very expensive so I only buy them when I can find them reduced in price otherwise they can keep them and I don't need them got enough cars already so I don't need any only buy them when they are cheap no post in the back either that's great got a gold interior very shiny then I got the Lamborghini Murcielago in yellow again expensive at normal price no mentioning of the other cars on the back here got a little protector so that's cool nicely decoed front and back and then we got some Barago Ferraris but the smaller ones so on the website of um, Barago these are called 2.75 inch on the card here from the hypermarket it says 1 in 72 scale so I'm going to do some comparisons with the La Ferrari to see uh, scale wise what it looks like again very expensive at normal price this is the F40 Competizione so you get some deco in the front and nothing in the rear Two thousand seventeen production, so already three years in store. About time they clearance them. So here's the La Ferrari. Again, decor in the front, and we get the Ferrari name in the back also, and lensed tail lights. That's kind of cool. So size wise let's look at the 3 inch Ferrari Barago La Ferrari So we got 2.75 inch we got 3 inch so maybe I'll whoops careful now maybe I'll just put them up like this see inch on the right side and 2.75 inch on the left side now comparing to 164 scale this is a Kyosho 164 scale so true 164 you can see the um, 2.75 inch is a tiny bit smaller but not that much
Also in width it's a little bit more narrow, but again not that much. But the three inch one is, uh, well, in length it's a tiny bit bigger, not that much again, but in width it does look huge. So if you hold them like this, it does look much better, bigger, the three inch one. So actually the 2.75 inch in my opinion is closer to 164 scale than the 3 inch so the 1 to 72 scale mentioning on the card is not, uh, not accurate probably like 1 to 68 or something 67 and then the last one is the 812 super fast got some dirt on it in the package so we get deco in the front and in the back so this one's nicely decked out even the Ferrari logo but that's because it's a yellow one not a red one so let's just put these over here a little bit on the side so they're not in my way for the next segment the hollers so I've been eyeballing these two the two bottom ones for years this one came from the stupid toy store this one from Amazon so since it's kind of hard for me now to get out with this uh, semi semi lockdown we're in uh, I started looking uh, on Amazon because that's usually uh, if I shop online it's either uh, at uh, Tom's Model Cars or on Amazon. Hardly ever uh, go to U eBay or Expensive Bay as I call it. So I usually go to Amazon.de, so the German Amazon. And uh, I have some things I'm uh, following there price-wise. And uh, I thought, why don't I check out the new Dutch Amazon website, Amazon.nl. Um, and uh, so I started searching for some stuff on that uh, Dutch Amazon website that I also look for on the German one because prices differ from country to country. Uh, where I live in Belgium we don't have an Amazon but our surrounding countries do so in France and Germany and now in uh, the Netherlands and um, I found the uh, Welly transporter that I was eyeballing for so long for cheaper on the Dutch one and I also found one that is not on the German one another Welly car hauler or car transporter so completely stoked and I ordered those two from Amazon Holland you only have to order 20 euro to get free shipping while you have to order 25 in France and 29 euro in Germany so you also that is very interesting so uh, if you're in the lowlands or even in the surrounding countries and you're into one of these check out Dutch Amazon so boxes are very similar with that difference that here it says transporter and here it says super hauler but you got the same logo here that says diecast metal super hauler it says the same on top and then at the bottom so this one has some licensing info on Volvo and on Scania. This one is holding a Scania rig or truck, but it's got the MAN and the Volvo logo next to it. So I don't know if that's a mistake because there's no licensing info by MAN here. Maybe it should have been a Scania logo here. I don't know. That's what I paid for it. Very fair price, I think. So this is a Welly, obviously. It is also sold on the Amazon website as a Welly uh, car transporter and then this one so you get <coughs> the Alfa Romeo licensing sticker the Mercedes or Daimler licensing sticker for the truck or rig the COE and Lamborghini but there's no licensing info for Peugeot and Citroën on here because those are also in here now if you want to find this one on uh, Amazon in Europe you have to enter small foot and then this number 10790 
auto transporter and then you will find it. You're not going to find it if you're looking for welly. Even though it is a welly, it is sold as a small foot. So if that helps you. So well maybe we start with the old one because this is clearly an old COE rig. The Scania is much newer. It's got a big black sticker closing it up. So this is what it looks like. It's got some plastic stuff in there. It's got four cars in it. So let's see. Let me take this out like that. I'm going to cut loose the cars, cars first. Like that. So I can get them out so they don't uh, go all over the place when I'm showing the the rig, the truck. So there we go. So let's look at the base. It says Mercedes-Benz truck and the number underneath it. Got plastic tires. I do like these uh, hubcaps, these uh, central hubs here in red. So the rims look realistic. The gray color is maybe not that realistic but anyways. So you got a metal cabin on this old Mercedes. It's a 2488. It says on the door. Got a little bit of rub packaging rub on the side mirror. So you get some chrome inserts for the headlights. Get a it seems to be a separate piece for the grill or maybe it's part of the interior that's also possible. The city star is painted. You get an interior in there, you get a proper steering wheel I like that. That's cool. And then the back is completely plastic, same with the undercarriage. So this goes up and down like that. And all the way up. This thing, I don't know what this does. This goes up like that. I don't know if that's a, that is a us useful feature or not. We'll see about that. And then we got the trailer. Got a spare tire in here. That is cool. Look at that. They just sl slide in a a spare wheel. It also has the red centerpiece. That is cool. So again, this goes up and down. Drive your cars on. It kind of clicks when you put it up, so you can it will stay up there. And these things go up and down again, I think. Yeah, this one's go is more uh, stiff, so it's going to stay up if you wanted to. And this one, yeah, it's probably going to stay up too, but it's a little bit more loose. That's cool. So we're going to I'm going to connect it first. Like that. Oh yeah, very easy. Let's see. Get the cars out, the rest of the cars, oh they're taped to the packaging. The packaging is kind of flimsy, but it's okay. It's easy to tape on the car. That's silly. Okay, I'm going to have to clean that off a little bit. So, looking at the cars, we got the Citroën C C2, 2003 model. So we get these uh, vinyl tires, generic rims, get details in the front, so the grille painted, the uh, Chevron logo painted in the headlights, get some side deco here, the indicator light and the tail lights with the, the name and the model on it, nice. Inside, yeah, nicely detailed. I like the gear stick, get the handbrake there. I see detailed, too bad there's a gap here underneath the steering wheel so you can uh, kind of see through the wheel well. There's no door cards either or anything. Uh, these um, 
Did I show the, the nudges here on the platform? have these little nudges where the tires can uh, sit in. But they're not that deep, so I don't know if it will actually work. We'll see. And we get the green Peugeot 206cc. Again, nicely detailed in the front. And this black part is probably part of the uh, interior, because uh, it's plastic. But it did paint the uh, lion, the logo of Peugeot on it. Got some black paint on top here. It's uh, painted on the side. Even the door handle can get some silver th silver trim, although they were never silver as I remember. They were either black or painted in, uh, in green like the body. And then in the back bumper piece in black, part of the interior again I think. And the tail lights and the model metal line and the Peugeot name. Nicely detailed, full deco and interior wise again not bad got the rollover protection here also present then we got the Alfa Romeo it's kind of see this it's kind of loose here not completely on this side it's fine but on the other side the base kind of sticks out so you can kind of push it up but it doesn't stay in there and uh, yeah the roof piece is also not in the correct spot as you can see but I've got another one so it doesn't matter let's get some dirt here so you got the Alfa Romeo logo in the back you got the indicator on the side and you got details in the front the grill the logo headlights interior wise again okay interior proper steering wheel and then we get the Lamborghini Murcielago Lamborghini so get headlights and the Lambo logo we get some black paint on top here and we get the taillights done with the Lamborghini name interior looks okay so just for the fun of it I'm going to add some cars recolors of the same vehicles in this set I'm going to maybe slide them forward a little bit to get all of them on there also exists in black uh, not going to work fitting all of them on there on there this is a silver one maybe I'll put the silver one on there so this one has notches on the back here and then this works like that this probably goes here and then this here yeah that way they're kind of in a semi fixed position with the tabs and then we put the uh, Put these things down first. Put the Lamborghini in there. So it's kind of hard to drive over this uh, this part here. In the middle, it gets kind of stuck there. I don't know. Yeah, this is going to have to sit here, and then you can lift this up so that it doesn't slide backwards. And then also got a green version of the Lamborghini this one has more deco on the headlights more details and um, it's got the logo on the side here but the yellow one also does have that I did not point that out in the back it's got more details on the tail lights and they got the license plate too and some uh, grill painted here on the back so a little bit more detail than the yellow one but I think I won't be able to fit all of these on here either. So I have to lower this. Let me see if I can. Yeah, you see? Doesn't really fit. 
And I've got a silver version. I forgot to take it out of the box of the Alpha. Here it is. By the way, if you want to see all my Alfa Romeo, I did a Alfa Romeo video, but there's no cars in the thumbnail, and that's why probably why it uh, does not have that many views, at least not for my channel. Um, so uh, if I don't forget, I'll put a link to that video at the end of this video. And you can see all of my Alfa Romeo video, uh, cars. So yeah, doesn't really fit on there. So it's actually made for six cars in total. So this one kind of goes here. This, this goes up, not to roll off. This goes up somehow, not to roll off again. And then there's just one spot here, I think, yeah, like that, for that car. And that's about, uh, well, you could actually fit these maybe on like that. Yeah, this would work. So three on the bottom and four on top. <clears throat> that's uh, that's actually how, uh, how I think it is made to be used. If the... The hook on the trailer was a little bit longer. You could fit probably fit another one on here, but uh, you know, kind of has to work like this. It kind of, you see, kind of hits the car underneath here if you turn it. If you put an extra one there, so yeah. Maybe I have to put this up to av avoid that happening. If I do it like this. And then like this, see, that way I can turn without the car getting hit. So that's probably what it's for, that uh, ramp thing. So you can uh, maneuver without the bottom car being hit. But you know, the cars have a hard time staying on their spot. Oops, and now it got disconnected. So as a piece to play with. I don't think it uh, really works that well. Well, it would be better if you put less cars on it, but even then you would have to strap them down to work better as a uh, car holder. But just as a piece to display your cars, it, uh, it works pretty well. Looks fine to me. So we're going to slide that a little bit to the back and look at the other hauler, the newer one. It says Scania V8 R730 on here. I'm going to cut the little sticker here too. Piece of tape I mean. Alright, so we got a um, COE rig. These ha this one has rubber tires. That's cool. So they have a lot of these. You can buy them just uh, the, the rig on itself without uh, any trailer or stuff on it. So we got a plastic part here that is partially painted. Also probably part of the interior. So the, um, the top part, the cabin here is metal and the bottom part is plastic, red plastic. Gets the headlights painted down there. Nicely detailed side mirrors too. Nice cabin. Look at that. That looks good. Let's take a look on the other side. Yeah, so we got the uh, center console kind of aimed towards the driver. That's cool. Don't know if there's something really in the back there, like a bed or something. It's kind of hard to see. Mm, doesn't seem like it. It's 
Seems to be something there in the back, but I can't really see. Anyways, so it's got uh, this little part on here that I kind of wonder if I if it detaches because it's it slid into the fifth wheel. So oh no, you see it's screwed uh, in, in in here. So if you unscrew this. You can take this off and use this just as, as a rig to uh, pull other trailers. That's cool. It's a great solution. So this thing lowers down. Should lower down. It's kind of stuck in there. Oh yeah, there it is. Oh yeah, maybe this needs to go up. Yeah, this needs to go up and then this can go all the way down. That's how it works and then it kind of clicks into place, you see, and then it's fixed like that. And then you got the trailer, rubber tires also, nice chrome rims by the way. So you got some uh, parts here that kind of move like that, like a swing. And then again, this needs to go up first, I guess, before this can go down all the way. Or maybe not. No, it doesn't. This is just for the up position. For the down position, I think everything needs to go down. Yeah, otherwise it won't go down. So this clicks too, and then this goes all the way down here. Yeah, that's it. So, yeah, it uh, attaches really easily, nicely, like that. So, uh, let's see if we can kind of. Now, we can. It's not going to be easy to drive from one to the other, I notice here. You need kind of somewhere a spot halfway to kind of drive on to the next level. See, because there's a gap here. So we'll put that one up. Click, click. There's no tabs here to hold the car on. There's a little a level here probably to hold the car on and then a little lip on the back but there's not really much to uh, to make sure the car stay on so put the alphas on top and maybe a Peugeot so this needs to go up simultaneously it's not going to work with the cars on it Right, it's going to be very fiddly. So they click into place really firmly. I'm not sure this is going to last in the hands of a kid, but who knows. So like that. Well, this is going to fall off. This Almost the lip here is almost inexistent, so that's kind of a bummer. And then underneath, let's put. Uh, see, it's already falling off. So this kind of works. And then take the other Lambo. So there you go. Again, to play with, you would have to tie them down, the cars, because they would fall off easily. It's kind of a bummer, but okay, I don't play with my stuff, obviously. But these are probably meant for kids. So it's not going to work very well, I think, but 
again looks great just as a display for uh, your cars it's pretty awesome and then we look at this one so it's in a stupid toy store packaging but these are actually RMZ City so as you can see here Unifortune Toys Industrial that's the parent company of RMZ City so this one was 9 euro 95 cents um, GM sticker for the Corvette no licensing sticker for the Scania or the BMW but the licensing info is here BMW General Motors Scania so uh, yeah got a lot of plastic in there too so let's see how does this open it's got the tape on it and it's got uh, this little latch here I need to try to dig out open so I'm gonna have to rip it get some plastic inserts here that uh, the car is in BMW X6 in red And here we got the Corvette in yellow. So this trailer is oh yeah, it hooks off. Got a little cardboard pierce a uh, piece here for the the Scanyon name on it. So looking at the base it says RMZ City right there Scania P series so the red is all plastic bottom part here is plastic too part of the base probably and then the white part is metal so Scania lens headlights painted small lights underneath the model P360 the front grille well of course front grille no uh, side mirrors by the way interior again looking good separate steering wheel or proper steering wheel seats look kind of funky the tires are plastic rims look nice So let's see how does this work. Does this? Uh, oh, I think this one moves. Not sure how. Okay, like that. This moves to the front, and then you got this. You got these uh, notches here, and uh, the bed. Also not that deep, so I don't think it's going to work very well either. And then here we got the same system. I kind of like that these ramps are on there. And that kind of adds to the play value. Again, this slides to the front. Like that. Then you can uh, drive the cars on. And uh, like this, you see these uh, ramps also kind of work as a. Uh, a way to cross the the opening here between the trailer and the truck so uh, yeah you'd first have to okay silly first have to load the uh, the truck itself oh yeah we didn't look at the cars <laughs> 2010 Corvette C6R yellow they don't have it in yellow yet that's cool so you get lights front and back and uh, 
the logo on the front as it is always with Arms at City, I think. No logos in the back. Plastic wing. And then the X6. So these have no interior, these are the basic ones. Headlights, grill, and logo, and nothing in the back because it's a red one. So let's get the uh, Corvette on there. Got a few other colors. Got this uh, shiny red one. So there's room for this, for this. Yep. Put the BMW underneath. So. And then we can close this up. Attach this. It's kind of hard to attach the trailer when it's uh, sitting on the floor, but it works. And then we got a matte black version of the Corvette. Yeah, that one stays put nicely. Got a black version of the X6. It does work better, I think, the Arms at City one than the Welly ones. They uh, seem to keep the cars in place a little bit better, and also with the ramps, works better. Got another red one here just to fill up the, the trailer, you know. Can't drive around without with the, the trailer that is not full, that's not efficient. And then this. And it can lift it up, but then the car will move around in there. Because the spot where the back wheels sit, these are kind of tight like that, you see. It's not moving, but if you take it out, so the, the things in the base here are pretty well for holding the car. Like this, it's going to move around. So, yeah. Some spots are better to put cars on than others. You see, this one just falls off. And it's got squishy wheels. <laughs> that's funny. Anyways, that's it for this video. I hoped, hope you enjoyed watching me have a little bit of playtime with these cars. Well, not really playing, more like demonstrating, I think. I'll lower the camera a little bit so we can get a better view on all of them. Move this one forward a little bit, yeah, like that. Now they are kind of all in the screen. So that's it for this video. I thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I hope to see you again next time. Bye bye.